Understanding our emotions can be complicated. Sometimes our emotions change positively and we feel joy, excitement, happiness, and pride. But other times our emotions change negatively, like when we feel stress, sadness, frustration, or guilt. These kinds of changes in our emotion happen to everyone. But when you have depression, negative emotions usually last for a longer period of time and start to affect your day-to-day -day life. Many people will start to experience these challenges during childhood and adolescence, but it can happen at any point in your life too. Depression can look differently for many people, but most will experience three main things. Feeling irritable or easily frustrated, feeling sad, and just feeling meh or empty. When this happens, you may experience challenges like trouble with sleep and restlessness, trouble concentrating, experiencing repeated negative thoughts and emotions about yourself and others, and no motivation to do anything like your chores or things you usually want to do, changes in your eating habits or activity level, feeling sore like having back aches and headaches, or struggling with your relationships. And depression can have different causes. It can sometimes relate to your different life experiences or the things going on in the environment around you, like at home, school, or in your community. But there are also genetic factors that can cause depression. If your parent has experienced depression, you may be more likely to experience it too. Or biological factors, like the amount of chemicals we have in our brain, like serotonin and dopamine, which can affect our mood. Another possible cause of depression has to do with thought patterns. Repetitive, negative, and disruptive thoughts make it harder to maintain a healthy headspace. And all of this doesn't happen in a bubble. Other struggles, like anxiety, trauma, or substance use, may also shape your experience with depression. There are still a lot of stigma and stereotypes around mental health and depression. Because we can't see depression like we can see a broken arm or a bruised knee, it makes it difficult for others to understand. Your family and friends may react in different ways. Some may be supportive and others just might not get it. But regardless of how others see it, depression is still very real. Learning more about your mental well-being can help you and others in your life better understand your experience. Reaching out for support and accessing treatment like therapy and for some people medication may help you to get better and stay well. So thanks for watching and check out our video on how eating, movement and sleep can impact your mood.